You're no daisy. No daisy at all. You're no daisy to me. Can y'all guess where we're at? I got something special for you planned right now. Hey there, YouTube fam. William Cody here with another edition of The Lost One. Now this is the, uh, the next installment, part two, of History's Lost Ones. And yes, you guessed it. We're in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, at the best, wildest six gun that ever lived. Doc freaking holiday, y'all. I'm not bull essing you. Look at this. John Henry Holiday. Born August 14th, 1851. Died November 8th, 1887. And this is where the man, the myth, the legend lives. Now you guys, this is my favorite role of all time is Val Kilmore in Tombstone. And I'm sure a lot of you out there can agree with that. But this is Linwood Cemetery in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And I'm so happy to be here. This is a happy video I was telling you guys about. So this is so cool. I'm afraid the strain was more than he could bear. So, his Glenwood days, Doc Holliday came to Glenwood near the end of his life in May of 1887. <clears throat> he was in the advanced stages of tuberculosis and presumably came to take the mineral waters and the vapors of the hot springs as, as like a healing. So on November 8th, 1887, after several weeks in a coma, Holiday died in his room at the Hotel Glenwood, which once stood on the corner of 8th and Grand Avenue. Legend states that his last words were, this is funny. His last words, y'all, were, this is funny. And it was possibly referring to the fact that he died in bed instead of being cut down by another gunman's bullet. Then a eulogy was delivered by Reverend W.S. Rudolph of the Presbyterian Church and Holiday was buried in Linwood Cemetery. And one of the greatest cowboys of all time is laying right in front of y'all. So this is going to be probably my favorite installment of history's lost one. I just can't believe it, guys. And look at where Mr. Holiday gets to lay and overlook for eternity. Resting in peace. What a beautiful place. Got old glory above his grave. Got the dogs out here going for a walk. It's about a mile hike up here to get to the grave. Above Glenwood Springs is down below. Dr. John Henry Holiday, guys, the most famous dentist and Wild West gunslinger that ever lived. Made famous by Val Kilmer in Tombstone, one of the best movies ever made. Wyatt Earp is quoted to say, Doc was a dentist whom necessity made a gambler, a gentleman whom disease had made a frontier vagabond, a philosopher whom life made a caustic wit. A long, lean, ash blonde fella, nearly dead with consumption, and at the same time, the most skillful gambler and the nerviest, speediest, deadliest man with a six gun I ever knew. And that was quoted by the man, Wyatt Earp. That was a direct quote after John Henry Holiday's death, aka the doc. And I just can't believe we're here guy you know after the somber stuff this morning I had to bring you something happy and just know that the lost ones isn't always about missing people and sad stuff we're gonna have some happy versions of the lost ones too and I'm gonna be visiting these super famous grave sites of people so you guys gotta stay tuned and you got to like and subscribe down at the bottom for this one. You got to, please.
He's got a little stream right now going by his grave as the snow melts. But this is it, guy. The real Doc Holiday. I'm kind of giddy like a kid right now. He's been my favorite cowboy my whole life. So, this is a real treat. This is very special. I'll never forget this as long as I live. And who would ever thought, coming from Tombstone, Arizona, you know, he would end up here in Glenwood Springs, Colorado in the mountains. John Henry Holiday was born August 14th, 1851 to Henry Burroughs Holiday and Alice Jane McKee Holiday in Griffin, Georgia. The family moves to Lowndes County in 1864, and that was right after the Civil War, about seven miles north of Valdosta, Georgia. John Henry was educated at the Valdosta Institute and later graduated from Pennsylvania College of Dental Surgery in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Holiday is probably known for his best involvement with Wyatt Earp, and his brothers in the shootout of the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona on August 26, 1881. So this is it, guys. The real deal. Doc Holliday. There's a lot you can't read on here. But it says in the 1950s, books and movies were released on the life of Holliday. Uh, the dentist turned gunslinger. The Glenwood Springs Chamber of Commerce knew that Doc's grave would be a drawing card for tourists to the city. Uh, there was a flagpole re erected in Linwood C Cemetery, original monument, and contained the remains of Doc Holliday. So God bless you, sir. The fastest gunslinger in the West. And this old tree here was planted when he died, and it's since died, too. And there's graffiti all over it from people. Probably people that love him as much as I do. So this is just a special edition, guys, of the Lost Ones of History. Now there was a little bit of controversy about this because they claim that his dad came from Georgia after he died, ex came up here, exhumed his body. Now I don't believe this, but came up and exhumed his body that was riddled with tuberculosis and decaying from post-mortem and hauled him all the way back to Georgia in a railway car with no refrigeration. Supposedly packed him with ice and then buried him somewhere in Georgia outside of Valdosta. But I got to tell you guys, that's that's a long stretch back then to take a corpse that far. I don't know. I think he's buried right here in this ground. They said for sure though, 100% after he died at the Glenwood Hotel, he was brought here and lowered into this grave. That's 100% right here. But if he was exhumed by his family, <clears throat> that's up for debate. But I don't know. I feel like he's right here right now, guys. I can feel it. And this is it. So we'll do a little get up here close. Give you one more look of the man, the myth, the legend. John Henry Holiday, a.k.a. Doc Holiday. I'm your Huckleberry. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe down below. And stay tuned for the next one. I got some big ones coming up. Have a great evening.